Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God, how are you guys doing on this Saturday? It's Saturday guys, it is Saturday, yes it's Saturday, I have had a great morning so far, relaxing, just doing the things I want to do, don't have to get up, don't have to go to work, you know, it just feels so good, sometimes you just do some things you just want to do around the home and just relax, you know? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope everything is going well for you today. If it is your first time here, welcome, welcome. My name is Nay, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome. And if that's the type of content that you enjoy, hit that subscribe button and become a part of this growing kingdom chosen generation family of the most high god we would love to have you and to all of my beautiful amazing subscribers welcome guys welcome to all my new subscribers each and every one of you guys i love you so much mm -hmm. that's a hug from me to you welcome welcome and welcome well guys today i wanted to talk about um integrity the holy spirit uh, spoke to me today and he said to come on and talk about having integrity. Um, it's good to have integrity, not just um, in your workplace, uh, integrity in life, period. Um, but he was more gearing to a lot of workplace integrity. Um, and that's what I want to talk about, having integrity in the workplace. Um, integrity, meaning morals, being honest. Um, being able to uh, walk with integrity, it's really hard for a lot of people to do is to really walk with integrity because um, it's just an area that can be very, very tricky if you're not watching it. You know, it can be something as little as, okay, um, I'm taking an office work, work home as far as like pens, you know, say if you work in an office setting and you're taking little things out of the office that's not working with integrity. Um, say, for example, if you had, um, it could be as little as ink pens, white out, what have you. But we have to make sure that, you know, we say, well, well, I work here. So, you know, you work here, but you don't own anything in here. Amen. So the Lord wanted me to come on and talk about it today. He said, talk about the integrity. You know, people at the workplace, you know, um, coming to work. Um, some people come to work. And they just find things wrong. They may repeat the same thing over and over again about um, the situation, the way the company is, the way the boss is, the way things are going. Things seem, just seem like they're just all over the place. It's not, you know, it's just not organized, this, that, and the other, you know. And God is saying, he doesn't want us to do that. He doesn't want us to be around people that are complaining about the company, complaining about, you know, the, the, the boss, complaining about this, that, and the other, but God said he wants us to work with integrity. You know, a lot of times I think people, um, we take things for granted and we get a job and, you know, you pray for the job and you get a job and then you begin to complain about the job and you begin to complain about how things are set up there, how things are going, you know, you complain about your boss, you complain about this, you complain about that, um, but God is saying stop it because it's a blessing to be able to work. You know, um, and if you, you if you look around, you see so many people looking for jobs. And some people, they like, you know, they're really struggling trying to get a job right now. Um, even though a lot of people are entrepreneurs, but at the same time, there's a lot of people looking for jobs. And people that are looking for jobs, sometimes they feel as though it's really, really difficult to, you know, find a job that's paying enough to make ends meet. You know, and that's the type of time that we're living in. But God is saying, be grateful. For the job that you have, uh, walk and lead with integrity on your job. If you find someone on your job that's complaining about the boss, if you find someone on your job that's complaining about leadership, that they're not happy with the way things are going, and you know you've been used to getting in the conversation with them and talking along with them, allow yourself going forward to back out of that. You know, speak to yourself uh, ahead of time. Tell yourself. I'm not going to do that this time. I'm not going to get in this conversation. Um, I'm going to, you know, uh, go in another, either do something else or 
bring up another subject. I am not going to allow myself to talk about my boss. I'm not going to allow myself to talk about the way things are set up. You know, um, if you have a solution to make a change, then that's what you need to do is find a solution for the change. But just to go around and badmouth um, the boss, God is not pleased with that. And you reap what you sow. So we have to be careful, even in our job, is what he wanted me to come on and talk about, is that we walk with integrity. Walk honestly. Walk uh, honorably. Uh, you know, uh, have a, a mind to do the right thing at all times. You know, not just um, lip service, but really, really have a mind to do the right thing at all times. And, you know, um, nobody's perfect. You know, we, we have bosses. I've been on many jobs, you know. And, of course, sometimes you have bosses that are not, you know, what you may have wanted them to be. Uh, and may, what your perception may have been. But at the end of the day, God has placed them in that position, you know. And sometimes I feel as though, you know, a lot of times people you know, desire that position, they desire that level. Um, but if you keep going and if you keep that level of integrity and you do the right thing, you keep a, a, um, a mind that when you go to work that you're doing your best, then God will bless you to elevate if that's what you desire. He will bless you to get to another level with that company or with another company, you know, but it's all about how are you handling the situation? What are you doing? Are you walking with integrity? Are you bad-mouthing people on the job? Are you spreading rumors? You know, um, are you talking about this one and that one when someone comes to you? Are you right there ready to find out well, what happened? You know, and then to add your little two cents in it. God is saying he does not want us to do that. He's not pleased with that. And, you know, we should be uh, speaking life over the situation. You know, speaking life over people, you know. Um, you know, even telling people, you know, I may have spoke to you, you know, um, a little bit about that person before, but going forward, you know, I don't feel as though that's right. And I'm not going to, you know, um, get involved in that conversation with you. You know, sometimes you have to be bold. The enemy is bold out here. He's bold to come to you and tell you this and that and the other and to see your reaction and want to get you involved in it. You know, he say, she say stuff. God is saying, be bold the same way and let him know, you know what? I am not interested in hearing about that person. God bless them, and you have a great day, and keep it moving. God bless you, and have a great day. You know, um, I'm really not interested in talking about that person, you know, because after a while, you know, um, it becomes a cycle with some people. They come to work every day, and they're looking for something to be wrong. They're like, oh, I'm just so tired of this. And, you, you know, it's a lot of times these people that complain about uh, their jobs and complain about the boss and this and that and the other, and you look at them, you like, well, what are you going to do? And they'll say, well, I'm getting ready to, um, I'm going to look for another job, and I'm going to get another job, and I'm going to be leaving here. I'm going to be here um, another year, or maybe I'll be here another couple months. And you look five years later, 10 years later, 11 years later, 12 years later, on down the road, and they're still sitting there, and you are too. They're sitting there, you are too. And every single day is a pattern of just complaining about the company, complaining about the boss, complaining about this, complaining about that, complaining about things that are not this way and that way. And God is saying, stop it. The Holy Spirit is saying, stop it. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's not pleasing in his sight. And he wants us to not um, be involved in people that want to talk about the boss, talk about the company. Pray for the boss. Pray for the company. Pray for direction. You know, if you don't want to give advice on how to make it better, then just pray secretly in your closet. In your secret closet, begin to pray for the company and ask God to um, direct them how to do things better. You know, begin to pray and ask God to direct how to do things better. Pray in the Spirit. Pray, um, you know, and God, prayer changes things. You know, prayer changes things. It's not, it's not you know, think it not strange when we, we deal with these situations, a lot of times on these jobs with different situations, but nobody's perfect, no company's perfect, even the great companies, you know, the Amazons, the Walmarts, uh, the Wawas out here, none of these companies are perfect, but at the end of the day, you know, um, we have to, a lot of times, go into these businesses, you know, we patronize them, and we just want to basically, uh, if you have to work there, work with integrity. You know, honesty, um, 
gratitude. Give gratitude. Give, you know, the way you give gratitude is giving your best on your job every single day. Change your mindset and say, you know what? Because um, a lot of times I had to do that. You know, change your mindset. You know what? I'm going to go in here. I'm going to give my best. And then sometimes when you give your best, it still feels like it's walked over. I know that. I, 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 I get it. I get it. But guess what? God sees. It's not about what man sees. It's what God sees. And he sees what we're doing and he sees how we're doing it and he sees how we're handling the situations amen so i just wanted to come on and encourage you the holy spirit was telling me to come on and encourage my people to call tell them to walk in integrity on their jobs walk in with integrity on in this life but mainly he was focusing on jobs you know bad mouthing this that and the other and talking about um the company you know talking about this, that, and the other. And, you know, a lot of times a company, you may have been treated badly. I'm not discounting that. You may have truly been treated horrible. But God is saying, pray for them. If you can't make a change, pray. Vengeance is his. He's going to repay them. Everything that they've done to you, God said he's going to repay them. So just be encouraged. Know that God is working it out, but pray. Pray for them. Amen. I love you guys. Let me have a word of prayer with you. Father, I thank you for each one of the children's generation family. I thank you, Father, for teaching us how to pray for people, even when they are uh, uh, unorderly. They're not, they're not doing things the way we feel as though uh, it should be done on these jobs. God, I ask that you would give us how to handle the situation and not to allow us to get involved in any negative talk about the boss or anything about the company, but to pray as never before for change. And God, if, if that doesn't work, Father, you're able to bless with another, another job. So God, I thank you for giving us, oh God, the insight of walking away and not getting involved and he say, she say stuff on these jobs. And to bring peace on these jobs everywhere in the midst of everything that may be going on in the company. Father, give us to walk with our head up and walk with integrity to please you. Not man, but to please you in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it. Amen. Amen. I love you guys. Be encouraged. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your Saturday. God is with you. He loves you. He's working behind the scenes. And he is fixing those situations even on your job. I will talk to you real soon. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I'll talk to you real soon.